This video shows how to fix your HP OfficeJet Pro 6230E printer when a carriage jam error message displays on your computer. If there is a problem with the printer carriage, try these solutions to resolve the carriage jam issue. Turning the printer off and then on again can reset the carriage. Press the power button to turn off the printer. If the printer does not turn off, disconnect the power cord from the back of the printer. Wait 60 seconds. Reconnect the power cord to the printer. Then press the power button to turn on the printer. Wait until the printer has completed startup, then try printing a printer status report. Align a stack of plain white paper by tapping it on a flat surface. Load the paper into the input tray and slide the paper width guides inward until they stop at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guides in so tightly that they start to bend the paper. Then pull out the tray extender on the output tray. Press and hold the cancel button for 5 seconds and then release it. If the report prints, the issue is resolved. If the report does not print, continue to the next step. A paper jam might be blocking the carriage. Remove any paper from the printer. First, remove any paper from behind the output tray. Check the rollers in the output tray for paper. Use both hands to pull out any whole sheets of paper to avoid tearing them. Remove any torn pieces of paper from the output tray rollers. Next, check for paper in the input tray. Lift the output tray. Grasp any paper in the input tray with both hands and then pull the paper slowly but firmly towards you to remove it. Grasp under the handle of the input tray and then slide the tray toward you. Press the latches on the left and right sides of the input tray and then pull the tray towards you to remove it. Check the gap where the input tray was. Grasp any paper in the gap with both hands and then pull the paper slowly but firmly towards you to remove it. Make sure that the printer is placed on a clean, flat, and level surface. Place the input tray into the gap. Push the tray towards the printer until it locks into place, and then lower the output tray. Follow these steps to remove any paper from inside the printer. Open the cartridge access door. The carriage might move to the center of the printer. Wait until the carriage stops before you continue. With the printer turned on, disconnect the power cord from the back of the printer. Disconnect any USB or Ethernet cables from the back of the printer. Locate the paper path cover Grasp the handle, and then lift up to remove it. Gently remove any paper from the paper path. To avoid tearing any whole sheets of paper, pull the paper with both hands. Replace the paper path cover. Press the cover down gently until it clicks into place. Manually move the carriage to the far right side of the cartridge access area and check for any paper or objects on the left side of the print carriage. Grasp any paper, and then pull it towards you to remove it. Next, move the carriage to the far left side of the cartridge access area, and check for any paper or objects on the right side of the print carriage. Grasp any paper, and then pull it towards you to remove it. Make sure that the carriage can move freely across the width of the printer by gently pushing the carriage to the right and then to the left. Close the cartridge access door.
Reconnect the power cord to the back of the printer. And then reconnect any USB or Ethernet cables that were disconnected earlier. Press the power button to turn on the printer. Press the resume button if it is blinking. Wait until the printer has completed startup, then try printing a printer status report. Align a stack of plain white paper by tapping it on a flat surface. Load the paper into the input tray. and slide the paper width guides inward until they stop at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guides in so tightly that they start to bend the paper. Then pull out the tray extender on the output tray. Press and hold the cancel button for 5 seconds and then release it. If the report prints, the issue is resolved. If the report does not print, continue to the next step. Next, remove and reinstall the cartridges to make sure that they are installed correctly. Press the power button to turn on the printer if it is not already on. Open the cartridge access door. The carriage moves to the center of the printer. Wait until the carriage stops before you continue. Press the tab inward on the front of the cartridge to release it and then pull up on the cartridge to remove it from the slot. Turn the cartridge so that the cartridge contacts face downward, and then match the color label with the color dot on the carriage. Slide the cartridge into its slot, and then gently press the cartridge down until it clicks into place. Repeat these steps to remove and reinstall the other cartridges. Run your finger along the tops of the cartridges to make sure that none of them are sticking out. If you feel any cartridges that are not level, press down firmly until each cartridge snaps into place. Close the cartridge access door. When the cartridges have been replaced, try printing a printer status report. Align a stack of plain white paper by tapping it on a flat surface. Load the paper into the input tray and slide the paper width guides inward until they stop at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guides in so tightly that they start to bend the paper. Then pull out the tray extender on the output tray. Press and hold the cancel button for 5 seconds and then release it. The test page prints. If the report prints, the issue is resolved. If the report does not print, continue to the next step. If the printer is plugged into a power strip or surge suppressor, follow these steps to plug the printer directly into a wall outlet to make sure that the power source is functioning correctly. Disconnect the power cord from the back of the printer. Unplug the power cord from any power strips or surge suppressors. Plug the power cord directly into an electrical outlet. Reconnect the power cord to the back of the printer. Press the power button to turn on the printer. Wait until the printer has completed startup. Then try printing a printer status report. Align a stack of plain white paper by tapping it on a flat surface. Load the paper into the input tray and slide the paper width guides inward until they stop at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guides in so tightly that they start to bend the paper. Then pull out the tray extender on the output tray. Press and hold the cancel button for 5 seconds and then release it. If the report prints, the issue is resolved. If the report does not print, continue to the next step. Resetting the printer can sometimes resolve carriage jam errors. Follow these steps to reset the printer. If the printer is turned off, Press the power button to turn on the printer. 
Wait until the printer has completed startup before continuing. With the printer turned on, disconnect the power cord from the back of the printer. Unplug the power cord from the wall outlet. Wait at least 60 seconds, and then plug the power cord back into the wall outlet. Reconnect the power cord to the back of the printer. If the printer does not turn on by itself, press the power button to turn it on. Wait until the printer has completed startup, then try printing a printer status report. Align a stack of plain white paper by tapping it on a flat surface. Load the paper into the input tray and slide the paper width guides inward until they stop at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guides in so tightly that they start to bend the paper. Then pull out the tray extender on the output tray. Press and hold the cancel button for 5 seconds and then release it. If the report prints, the issue is resolved. If the report does not print, continue to the next step. If you have completed all the steps and are still experiencing issues, the printer might need to be serviced. Your options for service might vary, depending on how long you have owned the printer and what country you live in. Contact HP to find out the support options for your printer. You can find additional helpful videos at hp.com forward slash support videos and on our YouTube channel youtube.com forward slash HP printer support.